Hi and welcome to Fly Tying Step by Step. Today we are going to take a very common pattern, the LK Caddis with CDC, but I am going to modify it a little bit in the sense that I use Clip Springer DHA instead of the uh, traditional LK. The reason for that is I found it more buoyant than the LK and um, it gives a little bit of a South African flavor to this fly. But any good quality deer hair will be suitable for this pattern. So to start off, we are going to lay a thread base on the shank of the hook to run about the bob. Then we're coming back and we're going to take one CDC feather you can do the natural So with that done, I'm just going to advance my feather to the hook of the eye, making touching turns with the material. As soon as you see that your feather is starting to push out the fibers, just stroke them back so that they lie to the bend of the hook. Always make sure that you choose a feather that is long enough for the size of the hook that you are going to be tying the pattern on so you don't come short when you tie your feather. Make sure that you catch the CDC properly and then we can trim away the stem. Now traditionally you will see that the next step will be to tie your deer hair. I am changing things up a little bit there for the reason I want a little bit more buoyancy on this fly. I also want to add a little bit of contrast between the head of the fly and the body. So what I've done is I've prepared two CDC feathers. I only took one half of the feather, a darker olive and a lighter olive and I am going to insert them with my clip and create a dabbing loop with it. Just make sure that you don't catch the body material as you spin it up. So now I'm just going to wrap my material around the 
shank a loop, stroking my fibers back, laying the thread one against the other until that's done. Just clean up the materials. Yeah, it was, it's quite bushy. So what I'll do is, I'll just comb it out a little bit, just to release any of the CDC fibers that was caught during the time process. In this instance, I don't see much. And now I'm going to pull up on my fibers. I want my fibers on top of the hook shank and then whatever stays below the hook shank I'll just trim. It just helps the fly sit more in the film of the water. Just like so. And then I'll come in, I'll stroke it back and by the end of the hook I'll just make one cut at an angle to splay them out. That just helps that there's not too much bulk going past the bend of the hook. So with that done, we can carry on with our deer here. I've already taken out all the fluff, but I must say that clip springer doesn't have much, if any, fluff, which just makes it a great material to work with. So for measurement, I'm taking it from the eye of the hook to the bend of the hook. And using a pinch wrap, I am going to secure my deer here. A few loose wraps, and then I start tightening on them. Also make a few wraps in front of it just to make sure that I secure them properly and then I'll come in with my scissors and just cut at an angle. So with that done, I can do my whip finish and the fly is complete. These CDC and DA patterns are very buoyant, a very true reflection of the caddis that we find and just an all round joy to fish. So after I've tied it in, I'll just check that the DA sits on top of the CDC to make sure that it doesn't come past the CDC on the sides. And there you have it, your CDC and clip springer DA hair caddis. Thank you for watching, enjoy your fly time, enjoy your fly fishing and be sure to subscribe to our channel, click on the link that says like and also subscribe to our Facebook channel facebook.com forward slash flytime123. Thank you for watching. Bye.